Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be doing a showcase on a build that I'm going to be doing a tutorial on in the very near future. This is my B-26 Marauder. It is an American heavy, or um, medium bomber, sorry. Comparable somewhat to the B-25 Mitchell. Um, in plane crazy here, it takes off very realistically compared to other planes, of course. The landing gear has a pretty quick retraction, and this is great for um, frontline bombing and heavy bombing. Now, um, our speed is limited to 400, which makes it somewhat realistic at this point, right? And I guess that is what we would like to have. And, um, all 10 guns are used on this because, well, there was actually 10 guns on this. Well, technically 11, actually, because this was a twin. Back here, this was a double barrel. Now, um, using the weapons, there are pretty much 5 in the front, 5 in the back, but technically the dorsal turret is every like the dorsal turret can shoot anywhere and it's very effective the frontal mounted guns they're actually pretty useful and they're pretty intimidating as well when the only thing is that they're actually quite hidden under the wings if you're coming up trying to get a, get to a blind spot on this and all of a sudden you realize oh no i just went up against a b26 marauder so you have all of these guns very good at defending against air targets and um a unfortunate downfall it's not good at climbing but that's pretty realistic it's not gonna climb very well you can't keep speed and climb at the same time um, we have a working rudder that does its job very well and um, we have a pretty nice interior I'll get to that later um, we have a bomb bay right these carry four bombs they're actually pretty good though they're heavier bombs that's why there's only four so let's just drop them it's very very dangerous but the thing is is that you're meant to drop them from an altitude it's an altitude bomber your altitude is your friend so in pvp the most you can do is hope that it hits the plots and hits something but that's the main thing about heavy bombers and plane crazy unless you do bomb lock and go completely unrealistic and become a dive bomber you really can't be spot on perfect so you have to be bombing like larger builds and stuff like that all right i'm gonna take this in for a landing and see if i can do that well usually it goes okay but sometimes it doesn't. So let us circle around, extend the landing gear, and lower the throttle until we hit 200 altitude. That's exactly. All right, all right, all right. Oh, that was a very rough touchdown. And very late. Alright, well, here we have it on the ground, pretty good looking. Let us get into the interior, we have pilot and co-pilot seats, and a radio operator, uh, as well as another radio operator seat, and uh, keep going in front here. The interior will be a lot less complex in the actual tutorial, if I make a tutorial, I'm pretty sure I will. But it, it's something tough to decide on, you know. Um, it, as you can see, it's pretty tough to get around this interior. And you kind of get stuck outside of this landing gear area when trying to get to the gunner seat. But um, when you do get to the gunner seat, you have a fire extinguisher and the frontal gun. It looks pretty good. Um, this is also the bombardier, bombardier, right? So, bomb sight, of course. Now, uh, it's possible to get out of that. Not saying it's realistic, though. Um, 
it's also very tough to generally get around. But now we have a bomb bay. It's actually very spacious. But as I did in my um, frontline bomber tutorial, you can't put bombs on the top of the roof or else they'll glitch through the top. So you have to have some here, some here maybe. The only thing is that would block my bomb bay doors, so I can't do that. So I'm stuck having not very many bombs. But I, I guess if motor lock was required, you could add more. Now, um, there is a door blocking the entrance, so I'll just open that real quick. And this is only if I do a tutorial. It might change and it might not, but if I do, that's how it works. Um, we have an interesting seat here. Um, yeah, just face up. Why not? Here's the glass that looks down onto the um, belly gun. You can probably ragdoll there. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the interior. Um here comes the dud the judge and the judge that's kind of what i just called the plane i don't know why it was funny um you don't have a sky camo that works necessarily but it's realistic as this plane i was going for realism and i think i succeeded pretty well the wings are a little bit yes choppy that's why i might not want to do a tutorial on it but the stuff changes heavy bombers maybe not for me. Um, let's send this to PvP. Also, one thing I did forget to mention at the start of the video, 1490 block count. Uh, it's a pretty big bomber, but um, as long as you have um, a decently good mobile device, some phones, some phone, well, my phone can handle it very well. Um, my iPad can handle it very well as well. So mainly an iPad would work very well, or any kind of mobile device, you know what I mean? As long as it's not a Nokia from the 1960s. Anyways, um, looks like there's something to destroy there. Um, I'll try that. I'll try. Um, what this thing is best for, though, is that it can shoot down a fighter. My friend, um, I mean, he's probably overreacting, but he was screaming when he's just like, why is there so many? I mean, he knew what to expect because he knows the plane well, but still. I just found that funny. I don't know why I even included that detail. <laughs> okay. Um, opening bomb, eh? And... We're gonna go low altitude just because plain crazy doesn't really allow us to do this very well in PvP without low altitude, and I missed. Oh, wait. I think I may have early- No, uh, that was not an early detonation. The game is lagging because of that build. Big problem with PvP servers. People manage to do that. My ships don't even lag me that much. I don't know what that is. Okay, there's an... Um, there's like some flying car thing over there, so I, I don't know. PvP is a weird place. That's pretty much what you're getting out of this, I know. Um, so, using our five frontal mounted guns, we can destroy ground targets even. Which is pretty insane. Um, in real life, the frontal one had a pivot. Um, these other four mounted to pods did not have a pivot. So that makes it a very intriguing design. Anyways, um, lastly, we have a Discord server still. I'm going to be putting the link in the description. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. I might be doing some tutorials on how to butter and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. See ya.